Hi friends, in our previous tutorial we have seen how we do display 10 records taken from SQLite database and we have displayed it in our Kindisk Inter window. And we have also seen how to create the tables with the sample data. Now we'll extend that tutorial and we'll just run this and we'll add one button to the each row. Here you can see one button is added and once we click this button it asks me to confirm whether I want to delete this ID 7 and the norm, name of the student it is given and asking me to confirm. I can cancel it or if I confirm this then it will delete the record and show me the result. At the same time once I click OK that here you can see that view is also refreshed. You can see 7 the record is not there because we have deleted it. We will learn how to do this. We'll start from where we left in our previous tutorial. Just slightly increase the width and the height also we have reduced. And all this creation of tables and layout, everything we have discussed in our previous tutorial. Just see here, the link is there and link it as the description also you can download. And this entire source code also you can copy. So here it is, the link is there, this query is there, this query we using and inside the for loop we are displaying all the 10 records. Now to start it, first we'll, what we will do, we will push it inside a function. Instead of directly using, we will use a function and we will say that above this, we will say define my show. Why we are using a function, I will just uh, explain to you. So for that, uh, we need to maintain the indent or the gaps. So all our now the code is inside the function that's all and because it is inside the function so you have to call it otherwise there will be a blank window will be there so for that purpose let me come out here I will say my so now the data will be visible let's just check it up how it is here it is so data is visible but one thing now because all are left aligned now let us make it center aligned so we'll get center aligned let's see again how this looks here it is now we'll place the buttons uh, in the right side of each row while displaying note that inside the function we have two for loops one is here outer and one is inner the bottom the inner for loop is to place the columns or student you know there are five columns are there id name class mark and gender so these are will be placed based on the j value j 0 1 2 3 4 so that is why and when we are placing the button that button should come in the outer for loop because each row will have one button so what you will be doing is e equal to is the button and dynamically these buttons will be created so let's say button and my underscore w my parent window now what should be there you i'll just press a cross or x symbol so there is just a character only now what i even mostly important is what command i am giving command equal to now lambda sorry equal to da lambda now here two variables i will be passing to a function which will do the delete operation for that i am creating d d equal to student id student 0 id is 0 name equal to uh, because i want uh, along with id the name should be displayed though for the deleting i am using the id only i will use this so uh, what i will say uh, this is then n equal to i will take it to the next line that's easier okay here n equal to fine n is the name name part i will be taking it student 1 so now what I am going to do is here now I will uh, student 1 now I am calling the function my delete and let me just take it slightly here I will give some space also my delete and here I am passing D and N both the things so what happens let me just bring it to visible okay so my delete so far this function we have not written so we'll place it on our grid now while pressing the grid we have to take care that it aligned with the row not with the individual column so we'll say e dot grid now here row value is i because i takes the value i zero for each row i value is constant 
so i want to three 10 records so i starts from 0 0 1 2 3 4 like that so when we are playing the uh, looping through in the external for loop i value changes increment by 1 once the loop starts so i is there then i am giving the value for column but here the column value i will give it is a right of the extreme right of the row so j it the last value of j is taken so i am giving j plus 1 usually it will be have 0 1 2 3 4 the extreme right column will have j equal to 4 now it will have 5 instead of directly using 5 based on the what's the value is we are giving it as 5 so my column is displayed there below that anyway i equal to i plus 1 now what happens i will just come out of this function and declare the uh, my delete function or diff my delete here i have to receive two things id and name let me just pass let me just see up to this point if there is anything is there let's just see yeah so here it is all are center aligned and buttons are there and j j0 is this id name is j1 2 3 4 and this is j5 so it starts from 0 so the sixth value so this all this Uh, j is equal to uh, our uh, sorry column value is j plus one. Now if I click this, now nothing will happen because we have not written the code here. Now we'll pass on these two values and accordingly we'll develop how to delete the code. Sorry, delete the record. We'll work inside our function mind delete. Note that this function receives two parameters, id and the name. Id what we'll be using in our query, but name is for display purpose. Okay, first we'll set uh, our parameter my var. This is what we'll be checking whether the uh, user has clicked the yes button or not. So th this will be true if the user has clicked the yes button. So let's see here equal to msg. Okay, we have not imported msg message box. So let's go to the top here below this. Let's from tkinter import. uh message box as msc okay so now it is available this is the message box library i have connected it now this will uh, display the message box with the option to yes no cancel all this option so here we will say our now in from here we'll say ask yes no cancel fine now i'll say this is the title of it delete uh or put a question mark fine now in the body what we are going to write we'll write it okay we'll go to the next line better so we'll say uh delete id okay uh, comma is there now this is the message what you are giving id so no problem up to this plus now here because id is a integer we have to use str and id so that is why we are because directly if you use string can we cannot add uh, integer to a string now plus now here i will say name name is also the parameter second parameter whatever you are receiving so this will show me the delete id this name name is for identification because uh, for the user to easily understand which record is deleting then icon mm, equal to now let's give warning now by default where the button should uh, the it should be selected so default equal to no so let the no be selected now i am here let me come out fine so this is uh, this is what it says is based on the user action whether he has clicked the yes or no button my var variable will hold true or false so we'll use a if condition if my var let me move up a bit wait my var means if it is true then what i will do first i will run the my query record set equal to my connection my connection is my connections to sqlite or if you are using mysql at the top we have declared it at line number here it is wait let me come here line number 3 so that same one i am using here execute now what's the query inside that i will put the query now delete okay it should be upper case because it's a query delete from student where id equal to now here again the id is a for me it is id is a integer so i cannot just like that enter it here so what i will do id 
plus str i am just writing here id not going to sorry 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 here str so an id so like this is the one query now i i must uh, okay closing bracket is there so come to next line now i will if suppose this is the uh, cleared so i will say message so error now i will give a message deleted now i will say again number of records deleted now this is what now this here now database returns me a how many records are deleted and that is also can be used as a confirmation that the records are deleted so this is equal to plus now again str because it's a integer i will get it so our record set or r set dot row count row count so this is what actually i will row count this is what will give me return me the number of records so number of records deleted one i little space i will give here so easily i can identify so that is that's all but now the records are deleted user got the message now something i am missing here what i am is i have so far i have not refreshed my view okay that will wait and see now up to this point let's see this is the output here all the records are displayed with a, each record has a, or each row has a button at the right now let's delete one row so we'll say let's delete the record number 7 so the message come delete id 7 my john of the name is also displayed so i can go no or cancel it again let's say we'll go for deleting this record i will say yes now number of records deleted equal to 1 so one record is deleted now remember that id number 7 but what has happened this id number 7 is still visible because we have not refreshed this particular view how to do that we'll do one more thing we'll close this and here that is the reason why the display part we kept it inside a function see you see at line number 10 we have called a function myso and this particular one we are calling it at the initialization or at the beginning now the same thing we'll do once the delete operation is over what you will see we'll just call myso once we are calling myso the view is refreshed now let's now it is let's run this and see how it works here it is you can see the seventh record we have already deleted so after 5 6 7th record is not there 8th is there so now let's delete the sixth record so do you want to delete six yes number of records deleted one you see now after 5 6 7 both are not there and eight so this view because this function is called so the view got refreshed and it reflect it take a fresh data from the uh, database so fresh 10 records are taken so now you can see up to 12 records it has gone if i'll delete one more let me remove the third record so yes so now i'll get 13 up to 13 it has gone so 1 2 3 is in between gone so that's all that is how we can take the user confirmation and delete a row we'll next we'll move how the edit process and all how this works how you can entirely delete the uh, table and all we'll we'll work on those areas so i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and one more thing if you have any doubt suggestion or ideas use the comment section below to post it please share this with your friends and thank you for watching